Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be uh, feeding calves, the little bottle calves. So we have to mix up for um, eight calves. So here we got the pounds of powder. So 24 pounds of powder we need, 19.2 uh, gallons of water, and two liters of uh, milk replacer acid. So we're gonna get mixing that now. So over here we have the milk replacer for the calves and we need 24 pounds of this. Uh, for the amount of water and acid we have. So I'm gonna scoop that in now. So we need to get 24 pounds, so we're just taking it out and putting it in the pail on the scale. So down at the bottom, right there is the 24. So we need to get the uh, scale around there. So the pail can't fit uh, 24 pounds, so I'm gonna do 212. So as you can see there, the scale says 12, and the pail's almost full. So I'm gonna take the pail and uh, dump it in our, our homemade mixer, which mixes the powder in the water with the acid. And then down there, we have a, a little spout with a nozzle on it, and you could easily fill the bottles uh, and take them off the washing rack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put water in our our homemade mixer here. So here we got our, our scale for uh, how much water we need to put in. So I need to put that number in the calculator and add the 16.2 gallons of water that we need to put in. And that will give us our uh, amount of water that needs to go in. After adding up on the calculator, the finished product should be 23,521.4 gallons of water. So first uh, we wanna have the water um, pretty warm, so I'm gonna put on the cold just a bit and then I'm gonna uh, turn the heat on just a bit too So then it should be uh, pretty warm and if we look in here the water's uh, going into the tank So we're gonna let it go in On the scale the numbers are uh, going up and we just need to wait till 521 comes along and then get it right on the number So as you can see here, uh, it's getting close uh, to 2021 20, so I'm just gonna put it uh, right to hot water till it gets to uh, 2021 so I'm gonna crank it here to right to hot and then it's at 24 right now so that's the end of that and in here we got all the water in so we're gonna add the uh, powder now So here we got our next pail of 12 pounds. So that altogether equals 24 pounds of milk replacer. So I'm gonna add this pail in and mix it up. So here we got our handy uh, mixing tool that just connects to our drill. So I we'll stick it in there and then it mixes up. So we got all the milk mixed up. Now we just have to add the acid. So here we got the acid that goes in the calf's milk and we got this um, big measuring cup. So I need two cups, but two cups pretty well fills it. So I'm gonna do one cup each. So I'm gonna get uh, two one cups. the acid with the calves and it needs to be added while mixing so I'm gonna dump the acid in while Clara mixes 
So. So that was one cup and we need to get another uh, cup uh, and to equal two cups for the calves. So here we got the second cup of acid. So this stuff will burn your fingers. So that's why I'm wearing gloves and make sure it don't get in my eye. So uh, now as you're adding the uh, acid, you just have to mix it up real good. So here we got all the bottles we need uh, to feed the calves. There's two little ones and seven big ones. And there's nine calves to feed. So right here we got our handy little spout, which comes out of the uh, big mixer and comes down here. And then you just open the valve and put the bottle in there and it, it fills the bottle. So we're going to fill these up now and take them out to the calves. We got one bottle filled up now, I just need to fill up the rest. So put the lids on, you need to flip up the back and then it just pops right on. So here we got all the bottles to take out to the calves. And there's still milk in the mixer uh, for tonight's uh, uh, feeding of calves. So right here we got the calves. And it is freaking windy. So we're going to feed these uh, calves fast. Here is the calf number 711. And this one is getting weaned. So it only gets uh, three small bottles a day. So one of our small bottles goes to this one. And then uh, down here we got 710. And this little calf gets a small bottle as well. And all the rest of the calves along here get a big bottle. So the nipple just goes down in, in the hole there. And then the calf can come up and drink it. So here we got the next one that gets a small bottle. So all the calves are fed now, and they're all uh, happy. They get their, their dinner. So the two oldest uh, calves that got a small bottle need this uh, mix of grain and water. So I'm gonna fill up uh, that pail with water, and I'm gonna bring the scoop out with grain. As you can see here, this calf is actually good for water, and I'm just gonna top up its feet a bit, but if we go down to the next one, as you can see for this next oldest calf, it has no grain left and no water left. So I'm just gonna fill up its food and water here. Here we got the calf's uh, water bowl, and here we got cold water, so I'm just gonna fill it up. So here we got the calf's food and water filled up, and it's a happy little guy, so that one's good. So that is all we have to do for feeding calves. So last week, uh, we cleaned, I cleaned, took a couple loads out of the chicken coop and moved the chicks in, so here's some clips of me doing that. It was enough to make a video, so I thought I'd add it in with this one. We will be cleaning out, or just taking a couple wheelbarrow loads out of the chicken coop, because it's getting uh, pretty full in there. And it's even a bit too much that I can barely open the door. So I got the wheelbarrow up here. And later today we we're going to be uh, moving our older chicks from the office that we hatched out. I'm going to move them into the chicken coop. I think just around the corner there in the cage. Because if we put them in there and, uh, with all the chickens, they're probably going to get beat up. So I, it, I think it's better if we put them in a cage in here. So, but first I'm going to take... Maybe just one wheelbarrow load from back behind the door and over where the water was right there. Because I can barely open the door, it's rubbing. 
So I think it'll make it uh, smell a bit better in here too. I know you guys can't smell it in here, but it is horrible. I got one load out, and that's probably all I'm going to take out. We can now open the door, which is nice. And it smells, it will smell a little bit better. Not right now, it doesn't smell good at all. But, and it should help to keep these birds healthy. So I went and unloaded that load just into the gutter downstairs in the barn. So I'm going to get another load out of here just to get it cleaned out back in there and maybe a bit here so i got one more load out of there and i'm gonna go dump this and then put some fresh bedding in so here we got two loads cleaned out i'm gonna probably get three scoops of bedding to bring in here to fill this back up and so it's uh will dry out so right here we have the three scoops of bedding in here so i'm gonna bring the cage in there for the older chicks and put it right by the side wall there so we got the cage in here for the older chicks so i'm gonna go grab them and move them in here so here are our big chicks that we hatched out and these are the ones we're moving up into the chicken coop because in a video coming out soon we hatched out some more chicks so we need a spot for them so i'm gonna move them into here with the heat lamp but first we have to move out these bigger ones i'm first gonna clean out their water and food and i'm gonna take them up so i got the new chicks in here i'm gonna grab the food and water uh, to go in there with them so we got the chicks feeding water in here and so far they're doing well I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for tuning in this video and I'll see you on the next one.